the home of the whole enchilada fiesta. Las Cruces, New Mexico is the site for today's game. And now we bring you the coin toss. It's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. New Mexico State has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Got it and brought down immediately. That's a gain of five on the play. That brings up second and five. Third and five coming up. Ball on their own 30. Catches it and he's looking for more. Steps out of bounds at the 33. Fourth down. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He makes it to the 35-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. They go with a run, and he's brought down in the backfield. Oh, I, I think calling the plays, you've got to be aware of this guy. He's making too many plays. And when he's that close to the line of scrimmage, defending the run, not allowing your running back to even get up to the line of scrimmage, you've got to do something to make him pay for that. If he's going to cheat up to the line of scrimmage, if you're calling the plays, listen up. This is a great time to go play action and try to throw the ball right over top of his head. From their own 34-yard line, third down. with room to work, and he is drilled at the 40. There's nothing better for a defense's mindset than to get a three and out. I mean, a turnover, of course, is a positive play, and a coach will take that any day of the week. But to know you've stopped the best their offense has to offer for three straight plays, that's a confidence builder. Oh, excellent punt. From the 15, tackle at the 25-yard line. Return for a game of 10 yards. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. the tackle at the 33-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Makes it to the 44. Very well designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. Under heavy pressure. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Right, took the tackle, took the 50-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. 
He lets it go. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Second and 10. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. Got a man in and out of his hands. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Harris is back deep to return. Harris fields it at the 39, gets to about the 47-yard line. Boy, neither offense can find any kind of rhythm so far, Herbie. Yeah, it almost feels like the two offenses are just kind of feeling their way right now, allowing both these defenses just, just to dominate the game. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. Tackled after a decent pickup. Good run by the quarterback. The thing that impresses me is the decision making. He sees it opening, decides to turn it upfield, and gets a nice gain in a first down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. He's tackled at the 26. That's a loss of four yards on the That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. Quick strike, and he drops it. Number three was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. South Alabama is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and he nails the long field goal. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. Three nothing, South Alabama. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 25. Well, this has really been stingy by both of these defenses. And the question is, can they keep this pace up, though? I think that's a big challenge for them to be able to continue to play like this. Right now, the emotion of the game is favoring the two defenses. But I get a feeling it's a matter of time until one of these offenses starts clicking. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Brought down around the 31-yard line. Second and four. Tackle at the 30 yard line. On the tackle. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll make it third and five. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. At the 32 yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That'll make it fourth and two. Harris is back awaiting the punt. He gets out to about the 38 yard line. Returns for a gain of 11 yards. We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. South Alabama has a three-point lead. They'll bring him down at the 39. made at the 45-yard line. Good job by the offensive line. 
to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That's a gain of six on the play. That brings up second and five. Fires it out, and down he goes. Right around the 38-yard line. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop at about the 23-yard line. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. He's out of bounds at the 21. From the 21-yard line, second down. He fights forward to about the 20. Gets to about the 17-yard line. They'll call on the field goal unit here. South Alabama is up by three. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. South Alabama's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, it just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. He's on the run. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. Here's a screen to the wide out. That's a great tackle at the 46-yard line. He's scrambling. Diving for extra yardage. That was a great decision to take off. He saw a little bit of room open up, and he knew he could get the first. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he's taken down at the 45. That's a gain of four on the play. That'll make it third and five. Rose intercepts. No, he dropped it. Brad, he drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. South Alabama, up six. They bring the quarterback down. So the sack makes this a second and long. A long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, the Jaguars in front by six.
And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Throws complete, big loss. It's third and long. Ball on the seven-yard line. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's tackled right around the eight-yard line. Certainly they don't have the return on here. Tackle made at the 36. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much and that can cause mistakes. Makes the catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. They get a one yard loss on that one. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. Zips it to the tight end. And he's level at the 33 yard line. it in a hurry. Brought down at the 22-yard line. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 13. From the 10 yard line, second down. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle at the four yard line. Called a gain of six yards. That makes it third and goal. And he's tackled right around the two yard line. Gain of two on the play. That brings up fourth and Fourth goal. down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. New Mexico State gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. Out of bounds at the 30. Game five on the play. That brings up second and five. South Alabama holds a field goal lead. He's to the 40. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. 13 on the play. First down. Nice run up 
the middle. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. There he goes. Makes it to the 41. Gain of nine on the play. That makes it first and ten. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gain of six yards. That brings up second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 35-yard line. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. First down. And now he's got room to run. Makes his way out to about the 15. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. It's second and six. Again with the run, and they push him out at the five yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and inches. South Alabama is up a field goal. Touchdown, Jaguar. Shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming at them, but they just couldn't stop it. He makes the PAT. A nice 10 play, 74 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. That can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So the score now 13 3. Brought down at the 24 yard line. So we're just about ready to return to action. Down of bounds at the 27 yard line. And off to the left. He's knocked down of bounds at about the 29 yard line. Quick pass, tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. Roberts, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Harris, awaiting the return. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Returns for a gain of 11 yards. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That's good for a gain of 14 yards. First down. He chucks it downfield. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. It's second and 10. Ball on the 40. Oh, 
makes it to the 31. That's a game of nine on the play. That'll make it third and one. Fumble, loose ball. The defense wasn't fooled at all on the option, and it was their discipline that created that turnover. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. He's pushed out of bounds around the 41-yard line. He's scrambling. Decides to slide. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Loss of one yard on the play. Third down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. They'll bring him down at about the 45. Over the middle to his tailback. He's brought down in the open field. Second and two. Got a man. Watch out here. Seven yard gain, and that'll be a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. He might not be able to get the pass off on the run. Guns it to the back. Tackle made around the 20-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Interesting call here, tossing it to the fullback. He's not a usual suspect on plays like that. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Down he goes at about the seven yard line. Number 17 brings him down at the seven yard line. That makes it second and two. Let's go! 98 Weasel! 98 Weasel! Gets to about the five yard line. Gets it out. He's met immediately. So four yards on the board. That makes it fourth and four. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and it is good. Well, we're headed to halftime now, and we're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. South Alabama's lead is a touchdown. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. A tight, 
hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense prides themselves prides themselves on tackling. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays and when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in and year out, and, and that's what we're seeing today. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's taken down at about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Quick pass, and they make the stop around the 30-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Makes the catch and look out, and he's taken down at about the 35. to his tailback. Very good tackle in space. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. his way to the 46-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46. Now he's flushed and they got it. Call it a loss of seven yards. That'll make it second and long. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Number 10 was the intended receiver on the play. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. a good pass and catch there but still not enough for the first down that's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense all the defense has to do is stay back keep everything in front of them come up and make a tackle kicks up that's a tough break there for the kicker and our score 13-6 South Alabama It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? South Alabama up seven points. And he's tackled after positive yardage. And he keeps it on the option play and picks up six. He's into the open field. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And he's tackled at the 26. That's a game of 27 on the play. First down. Got 
Got the corner. Steps out of bounds at the 11. Brought down around the two-yard line. Call the gain of nine yards. That. that brings up second and one. And he's level at the one. That's a gain of one on the play. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Jaguars. Really good vision here by the quarterback and a good understanding of where he was on the field. He didn't need much, and he knew he could get it himself. And he converts the extra point. Patterson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for a gain of seven yards. We've got to do it quick. We've got to do it quick right here. That'll bring up second and three. Tackle at the 40-yard line. Gain of three yards. Third down. Here he goes. And he's tackled at the 50. Throws it out there, and it's incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. He's tackled at the 49. Gain of one on the play. That'll make it third and nine. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Clark, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Jaguars aren't easing back, that's for sure. They're not content to sit on the lead they had. No, I think they're continuing to go out and execute, try to extend this lead, and just playing overall much better here in the second half. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 19. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. Number 32, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. He's at midfield. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. 
They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And he hits him hard at the 36-yard line. it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down in the open field. Number five brings him down the 36 yard line. That makes it second and 10. He steps out at about the 33 yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes it third and seven. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. Number one was the intended receiver. It looks like they're gonna try for the long field goal. Brings up fourth and seven. He gets it up and it's long enough, and it's good! Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 20 to nine, South Alabama. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 24-yard line. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? And now he's got room to run. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That brings up second and one. Three down, three down. 49 to Mike, watch 49. Gets out to around the 45. Gain of 12 yards. Man left, man left. First down. Three down, three down. 49 to Mike, watch 49. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. Seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Got an opening. Davis with the carry. Gain of five on the play. First down. Three down, three down. 49 to Mike, watch 49. Passes to the back, incomplete. Number 32 was the intended receiver on the play. From the 43-yard line, second down. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. Phipps on the tackle at the 39-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. That's a gain of 28 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. Touchdown, Jaguar. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. Perfect job there of spreading out that defense and then going to the ground game. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Now 
he tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down around the 32-yard line. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. Roberts, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. He scrambles. Now he's going to run and watch out. He gets hit out of bounds at the 44. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. Big hit. He's going to lose yardage. A one-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From the 45-yard line, second down. He shoved out of bounds right around the 46 yard line. That brings up third and 12. He goes downtown. Tackle made at about the 13. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. First down. Here's an opening. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's how we do, That'll make it second and four. We head to the fourth. 27 and 9. South Alabama. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Mike 8. Mike 8. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start. Offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep down. their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. From the 12-yard line, second down. 117, And they get nice yardage on that run. The option to the tailback, good for about four yards. Picked off. And now he's got room to run. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. It's first and ten. Ball on the 39. Could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. And down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line, third down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And they push him out at the 38-yard line. 
That makes it fourth and 12. He makes it to the 32-yard line. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. And he's going to come up with a sack. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. Ready! 85! Ready! 85! Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Green pass. He's got his half back. He's taken down to the 39 yard line. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. And they make the stop at the 40. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. After a decent run up the gut. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. And he's taken down at the 34. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Game of three on the play. That'll bring up fourth and one. Fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. It's up. Looks long enough. And he splits the uprights. As the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And for Rodgers, what a night it's been. This is what makes it so difficult to stop this quarterback, is his versatility. If you load up to stop his ability to run the football, then he'll throw it by you. If you sit back and are concerned about his arm strength, then he has the athletic ability to scramble and take off. He'll have to keep up this performance. These guys sure could use another boost. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. It's important for this offense to reestablish their continuity. The last time, they were unable to move the ball down the field. In fact, they were taken off the field after not converting on a fourth down. They get the football back and see if they can reestablish that confidence. From their own 24-yard line. It's second down. Scrambling around. Brought down at the 31-yard line. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. He's scrambling.
He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of three on the play. That'll make it third and nine. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That'll bring up fourth and 13. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Got it, but he's going to be stopped short. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. And he throws it away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Around the 25 yard line. Number five on the tackle at the 25 yard line. First down. Check. Tight right. Tight right. Tight right. Less than three minutes in the game. It up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Touchdown, Jaguars. Make it a triple dip, folks. He's left this defensive coordinator just scratching his head. It's so difficult to deal with such a versatile athlete, and today, they just haven't been able to do it. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 43-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line. Number 10 with the return. Kickoff returns 22 yards. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injury. hit immediately. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Just under two minutes in the game. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. The wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it, let's move on to the next play. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Let's it fly. Incomplete. Almost picked off. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. Hey, check 24. Watch 24. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. He really got a hold of that one. And he has it on the corner. Harris fields it to 31. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. 
The offense dominated the game on the ground during their last drive on their way to a touchdown. I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the book. Nice run there. Seven yard scamper on the keeper. Team seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Man left, man left. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but this game, quite frankly, has been over for a long time, and I'm ready for it to end. And that's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, South Alabama 37, New Mexico State 9. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.